What's up everybody, Blackacre here, your friendly neighborhood Slipknot cover ghoul, sometimes teacher ghoul. Today we are tackling how to play snuff. Uh, let's jump into it. We're in drop B. Um, the record, I'm assuming some of the acoustic parts are probably in C sharp standard, but if you notice, Mick in uh, live videos angrily playing. We can tell they're in drop B when they play it live, so that's what I did. Um, so let's get into it. First we're going to do these dyad shapes that outline the chords, which is going to be A minor and F major if we are in standard tuning. And uh, I'm on my bridge, or sorry, my neck pickup uh, for these clean parts. So that's just going to be the 7th fret of the 4th string and the 5th fret of the 3rd string for that A shape. We're going to do that 4 times. Then we're going to slide down to the 3rd fret of the 4th string and the 2nd fret of the 3rd string. Okay, that's going to repeat for a while. Um, and I believe the next part would be this little the dyad type of thing uh, lead part. So that's going to be like this. We're going to do this same type of thing, but we're just going to use shapes up the scale. So that's going to be that A shape that I showed you. <clears throat> then you're going to slide up that same exact position, two frets up, and then um, the same F shape, but up at the uh, 10th fret of the fourth string, ninth fret of the third string. Um, and also the same uh, A shape, but at the 12th fret of the 4th string and 10th fret of the 3rd string. So the actual melody of that sounds like this the first time. Okay. And then we're going to slide down. We're actually going to go this A shape and then the F shape but at the 5th fret of the 4th um, string and 4th fret of the 3rd string. And then it's going to start over again and change a little bit. We're going to do this and this part you're going to go from the 12th fret to the 14th fret, that A shape, okay? And then So slow that whole thing sounds like this. And then we're going to go into the next part, um, which is pretty cool. I really like this part. It's just droning on this uh, G if we are in um, standard tuning note. Um, on the fourth fret of the fourth string, or sorry, fourth fret, fifth string, and then open third string. So, and then we're gonna do um, that would be the seventh fret on the fourth string, fifth fret on the third string, sixth fret on the second string, and open on the first string. So that sounds like this. I'm just gonna let that ring, okay? All right, it's gonna do that a couple times. And then um, towards the end, it's gonna go. And you're just gonna outline this F major seven shape chord on the uh, third fret of the fourth string, second fret of the third string, and first fret of the second string, and also the open first string. All right, and the next part is a little lead. All right, so this is a bit difficult to explain, but I'm gonna try to do it without the first string just know that that's going to be droning the whole time um the melody is going to be fifth fret second string this is all in the second string by the way so fifth fret and then 12 slide up to 17 slide down to 10 uh eight and then five three 
five, eight, back to five. And then you're gonna do, like I said, drone that first uh, string on that. And then the second time is gonna do the same thing, just you're not gonna do this extra slide. So the whole thing sounds like this slow. So the second verse, I start off the same. Then I slide up to um, this F shape, but at the 10th fret of the fourth string, ninth fret of the D string. Just to kind of switch it up a bit, kind of, you know, doing some gym isms with improvising. Um, and then I move up after two times, I believe I do this thing up here, uh, 17th fret of the second string, 15th fret of the first string, same shape as that A shape. And then I'm also alternating on that 17th fret of the first string and giving it some vibrato again, just kind of like a, um, I think I heard him do it somewhere similar to that um, and I thought it sounded cool, so I used it for the cover. All right, and then um, we're gonna do the pre-chorus again. We're gonna do some crunch and uh, flip to the bridge pickup. And then for this time, instead of going down to that F major seven shape, I just do this F shape. Kind of crescendo this octave um, that I've seen him do. And then we're gonna do the fun lead part. So all that is, is, I apologize for the extra noise, there's a lot of effects going on. Um, so that's 17, 15 on the first string, 17, 15 on the second string, 13, 13, 13 12 on the B string, or second string, sorry. 14 on the third string, 12 on the third string, 14 on the third string. I did some improv there, but that's what it is on the record. And then the second time, you're going to do the same thing. But instead of going down to 12, you're going to go up to 16. And then bend. To the 17th pitch. Alright. And the last part I need to show you is this little octave run, which is just A, B, octave, C, E, and F. And then I did a little improv. And then... That's how it ends the song. So that run up is like this. Alright, that's all the parts. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. These dyad shapes, god...